Right, this video is on um, just looking at uh, how the electric is supplied to your house in France. It's done by overhead cable from a pole usually. This is what you'll find nine times out of ten. And it goes through the walls into the house and connects straight to the meter. So let me just run through what you might expect to see. First of all, it's worth pointing out here, I've got two meters, one there and one there. Now, uh, I've only got one electric account and it's this side. Um, this is a separate account, this side for uh, downstairs, because originally this property was split into two, so flat upstairs and a flat downstairs. This is not connected. So we can just leave that. So <clears throat> all these items are for the downstairs flat. So I can show you that later. But I'll just go from the top down what they are. So in here, in fact, this you can see it's exactly the same. Uh, someone's already taken this off. You've got um, fuses. And there to protect all the other houses or you if there's a surge outside um, but you don't touch those they are only um, for the electric board to deal with so you don't touch that you've got a meter this is a really old meter and it's due to be um, changed for a more modern linky which i'll show you Anyway, so you've got your meter and then you've got a main switch. This can take many different forms. This is just an old one. Uh, this also regulates how much current your whole house can take. So once you reach a certain amount, this switch will flip. This is also the same sort of thing you could have somewhere. Or, um, for example, like this on a more modern one. Or one of these with a modern meter, but um, the rest is quite old. This here is a relatively new, actually, but it's it, it um, at about ten o'clock every night and six o'clock in the morning. The electric company send a signal down the electric wires. This picks up the signal and operates a switch. And you use this to turn on and off when you've got um, hot water heaters or things like that that you want to run on cheaper electric, a bit like Economy 7. So this collects the signal and sends it to one of your switches. Um, if you don't have Economy 7 or two types of pricing on your electric, then you don't need to worry about that because it's all the same. And my electric that I've opted for is just the same. So when you take out a contract, so this right hand side is all on one contract, they come and connect it for you and you can get to choose what power you want. So you can have a maximum of 6, 9, 12 or more kilowatts, but then it gets really expensive. So this is 12 kilowatts. Um, if you exceed 12 kilowatts at any one time, this switch trips and that's it you've got to come back and reset it uh, this is the fuse box for the upstairs flat it's actually got trip switches in I've had no idea I mean they've left they've left this not really sure what's what though so we'll have a look and then we've got this Rubbish. Oh look, that just pulls off. Oh, exciting. I've got no idea what most of these things do, but we'll find out eventually. Oh, one thing to say. Earth. Earths. Here we might be provided with an earth. Might, might be in there actually. I don't know until I take the cover off. But I think uh, that might be an earth connection. 
In uh, more rural settings, you'll have an earth spike in the ground or an earth rod. Um, I can show you one of those now. And that means um, that you connect all your earths to that instead of um, back to the, I think that's probably what that is, back to the electric board. But the, generally, the standard of electrics is, is poor. It's very homemade, this. But that's usual. Then, oh dear. It's not great. In fact, let me just um, show you an example. This is the one at my dad's place. So I've got the main switch. It goes uh, across the ceiling, uh, down, and then into this box here. Um, you can see I've put a new, new consumer unit in. It is three phase. So I've marked it as such. Um, it's quite interesting because it didn't always look uh, as tidy as this. In fact, um, I redid it when I was doing the extension. This is what it used to look like. And on the inside, yeah, pretty bad. So I had to take it right back to the original wires. So if you're really lucky, then you've got something like this. So this is a fairly modern um, consumer unit and um, it's single phase even though you've got the three um, RCDs and they're different type RCDs so you've got AC, A, AC. And they're all connected to different things. So these are all labeled up, which is very unusual. So you've got um, heating. So these are bedrooms, bathroom, shower room, utility room, kitchen, and main room. But this has also got something else. Um, this device here. And what that does is um, it connects to um, the hot water and the electric heating. Um, and it's powered by this uh, two amp breaker here. And what it does is uses the um, the pilot wire system. So on each heater, let's say for example, uh, the kitchen, you have live neutral, and then you've got the, um, an extra wire, which uh, is the signal wire to turn it on and off. In fact, if we have a look down here, this explains it better. So you've got live and neutral, and then a pilot wire, an earth obviously. So what happens is these connect to your radiators, electric radiators, and it has permanent live and permanent neutral. Then when there's a signal received on this, it turns the heater on. So what this device does here, is it cycles the heaters. So for example, uh, split it into groups of two or three. So say those three, those three, and those two. And it turns those on for a certain amount of time, switches them off, turns those three on, switches it off, then those two, and then cycle starts again. And in between that, it also, um, if required, with this one here, they, uh, it switches on the hot water heater. Because everything's electric, it does that to avoid um, peak load on the, uh, on the uh, system. Because once you get to uh, 60 amps or 50 amps, then it will cut out. So it cycles it round um, so that it, you don't have all the load at any one time. It's quite clever. And that, if you see one of those, is can usually connected to... Uh, a remote thermostat programmer timer. So have a look for one of those. So this is um, very well labelled. Everything works in the places it's supposed to be, which is quite unusual. But yeah, that's quite a, a neat little thing.
means you can have all electric heating, electric water, and if you have them all on at once, it's not going to trip the switch. So I hope that helps. Just a quick overview.